Bruland's SCS2 Black Shadow Dilution Control Supply Closet Gas Pump Speed Filling Program is faster, smaller, and easier than other dilution control systems. It features one-handed operation, a small footprint, integrated rinse, as well as simple two-step filling. This SCS2 dilution control cleaning video will present the features of Bruland's program, our simplified training, usage instructions, and troubleshooting solutions. This video is part of Bruland's clean point training. Throughout this video, you will see clean point pointers along the bottom of the screen, providing you with a clean point, a hint or a suggestion that will make your work easier. The Black Shadow dispenser features one-handed operation. There are no buttons to push, no switching of refills. There is remote activation and a 7-foot hose that reaches out of the closet to fill auto scrubbers. Our gas pump dispensing gun is easy to use. The dispenser also incorporates an integrated rinse. Simply dial water and pull the trigger to access water. It's simple and there's no separate hose connection. The small modular black shadow dispenser is designed to fit your supply closet or anywhere. Bruland's dilution control program simplifies training five ways. First is through color-coded products. The product color of each SCS2 product matches the label color. Secondly, color-coded clean here shaded use icons found on secondary labels offer a universal language training component. The third way we simplify training is by assigning relative cleaning strength numbers to all products. 1 equals mild. The higher the number, the stronger the cleaning strength. Our labeling also includes industry unique 50-50 English and Spanish directions and precautionary information. Lastly, personalized end user wall charts customized with your products, your name, and your program can be easily posted in your cleaning closet for daily training. Through pictures, colors, and numbers, your training is simplified. For installation instruction, refer to your SCS2 Black Shadow Series installation guide for detailed information on how to install and set up your dispenser. Once your dispenser is installed, it's easy to begin using your dilution control program. Simply dial the product you want to use and pull the trigger of the gas pump gun to fill the spray bottle, bucket, or auto scrubber at the fast four gallon per minute fill rate. Choose up to four products for the SCS2 Black Shadow 3.1 dispenser or up to eight products in the 4.3.1 dispenser. Basic operation. Refer to your Bruland customized wall chart which identifies the products used in your facility and where to use each product. Always use care when handling chemicals. Refer to your product labeling or MSDS for precautionary statements, first aid, and required personal protection equipment. Turn cold water on. Do not use hot water. Turn dial to select desired product. Use gas pump dispensing hose to deliver the product. To fill a bucket or automatic scrubber, place the dispensing hose into the bucket or automatic scrubber tank. Squeeze the trigger. The proper ratio of chemical and water will be dispensed. Engage lock on trigger feature if desired by depressing trigger and sliding lock lever to the right. Release trigger when filled. If using lock on feature, depress trigger to automatically release. To fill spray bottle, hold spray bottle at an angle, insert dispensing hose all the way to the bottom of the bottle. This will minimize foam buildup. Squeeze the trigger. The proper ratio of chemical and water will fill the spray bottle. Release trigger when three quarters filled. Before switching products, drain hose and sink for three to four seconds to allow any remaining product in the hose to drain out. If water rinse is required, turn the dial to water, squeeze the trigger, engage lock on trigger feature if desired, clear water will flow. Release handle when done. Always turn off water to dispenser when not in use. 
While the Black Shadow Dispenser is simple to use, as with all equipment, some troubleshooting may be required. The following are some scenarios that may occur, though we have a solution to every challenge. The trouble. Proportioner fails to draw chemical properly. The probable cause could be one of the following. Insufficient water supply pressure. 20 PSI is the minimum allowable pressure. Seek plumber if necessary to increase water pressure. Proportioner metering tip clogged with dried chemical. Soak tip in hot water to clean interior passages. Bottle improperly connected. Check for proper alignment of product cap. Clogged water inlet strainer. Disconnect water inlet and clean strainer. An air leak in the chemical pickup tube. Remove cap. Replace zipper tube. The trouble. Threaded connections are leaking water. The probable cause. The connection between the dispenser and the water supply line is too loose or rubber washer is missing. Carefully tighten the female hose coupling on the dispenser to the inlet water supply line. Do not over tighten. The trouble. The proportioner continues to draw chemical after water valve is closed. The probable cause is most likely a concentrated chemical is positioned higher than the proportioner. Move the concentrated chemical so it is lower than the proportioner. The trouble is excess concentrate draw. The probable cause could be one of the following. The metering tip not in place. Replace the tip. The wrong metering tip in place. Screw the correct tip firmly in place. Refer to your tip chart for correctly colored tip. The trouble. The chemical will not hold prime. The probable cause is most likely a chemical cap is not connected properly. Ensure cap is straight and tight. The trouble. When switching between chemicals, previously selected product is dispensed. The probable cause is approximately 4 ounces of previously dispensed product remains in the hose line. Drain hose by lowering head into the sink and pumping 3 to 4 seconds until new product comes through. The trouble. Front cover of unit won't stay on or doesn't fit correctly. The probable cause is most likely the incorrect installation of the front cover of the unit. Install dispenser cover by inserting lower tabs on the cover into the lower base. Rotate the upper portion of the cover towards the base and snap into place. Align and slide the knob into the selector valve system until it snaps in place. Be sure the product ID stickers correctly identify the product being dispensed. The trouble. Proportioner is dispensing a different product than the one selected. The probable cause could be one of the following. Mismatched tubing. Follow the tubing from concentrate bottle to the dispenser, referring to chemical locations on the cover to ensure tubing is installed on the correct selector valve. When troubleshooting the unit, only remove mismatched tubing to ensure the tubing is reinstalled back on the selector assembly on the correct valve. Plastic selector knob improperly aligned. Confirm that the plastic barb on the selector assembly is correctly lined up with the slot in the front cover. Should a challenge arise while you are using your black shadow dispenser, refer to this video, your troubleshooting chart, or scan the QR code on your clean by color wall chart to assist in finding a remedy. If a challenge arises that you cannot fix, Contact your rep for service by referencing your wall chart for the phone number. This SCS2 dilution control cleaning video has presented the features of Brulin's program, our simplified training, usage instructions, and troubleshooting solutions.
Bruins SCS2 Black Shadow Dilution Control Program offers gas pump ease, filling that is fast. Its small footprint fits anywhere, and its integrated rinse helps make your job simple.